Welcome to IT Vision Enterprises Solution to Pass Question in BECE Mathematics Section A Objectives Year 1999 Questions 21 to 40 I am Lawrence Danso Amwakon alias Kapiri Imposi I am going to be your facilitator the table below shows the average monthly rainfall at Nankesi from March 1996 to August 1996. Use it to answer questions 21 and 22. Question 21. Which month recorded the highest amount of rainfall? The answer is June. Question 22. What was the total amount of rainfall recorded in April, May, and July. In April, it was 145 millimeters, and in May, 277. The total is 224, and then in July, 267. The total is 986. So the answer is B. Question 23. Find the median of the following numbers 1, minus 1, minus 5, 3, and minus 4. We shall arrange the numbers in ascending order. So minus 5, minus 4, minus 1, 1, and then 3. Minus 1 is located in the central position. So the median is minus 1. Question 24. There are 15 red and 25 black balls in a bag. Find the probability of selecting a black ball from the bag. The red balls are 15 and then black balls are 25. So the total equals to 40. Probability of selecting a black ball from the bag is going to be equal to 25. That's the number of black balls divided by 40. Total. 5 goes here. 5, five goes here. 8. So the answer is 5 over 8, which is E. In the diagram below, K is an enlargement of G. Use it to answer questions 25 and 26. Question 25. Calculate the scale factor. Let's label the diagram. A, B, and then C. The scale factor can be calculated as AC. Magnitude of AC divided by the magnitude of AB. Magnitude of AC equals 3 plus 6, that is 9, divided by magnitude of AB equals 3. So the scale factor equals 3. So the answer is D. Question 26. Find the value of S. The scale factor is 3. Therefore, the value of S equals 1.5. 5 times 3, which equals 4.5, so the answer is C. Question 27. A trader received a commission of 25% of the sales he made in a month. His commission was 180,000 cities. Find his total sales for the month. The 25% corresponds with 100. 80,000. That is his commission for one month. Therefore, 100%, which is the sales for one month, is going to give us more, if more or less device. So, 100 divided by 25 times 180,000. 25 goes here, 125 goes here, 4. So, 18 times 4. Is 72. So the answer is 72 with four zeros. 
so the answer is E. Question 28. Kwame traveled from Accra to Kumasi. He traveled to return for the journey by lorry and to receive for the journey by a taxi and the rest by a train. What fraction of the journey did he travel by train? We shall find a fraction travel by lorry and then taxi. It's going to be equal to 3 over 10 plus 2 over 5. The LCM equals to 10. 10 into 10, we shall get 1 times 3 for the first fraction. 2 into 10, 2 times 2, 4. So 7 over 10 is a total of the two fractions. Now to find the distance traveled by a train, we shall subtract 7 over 10 from a whole number that is 1. And this can be written as 10 over 10. 10 divided by 10 equals 1 minus 7 divided by 10. The LCM equals to 10. 10 into 10, 1 times 10. And then 10 into 10, 1 times 7. So we shall get 3 over 10. And this is the distance traveled by a train. So the answer is A. Question 29. If 4 times into brackets m plus 4 equals to 18, find the value of m. That is 4 times m plus 4 to be equal to 18. We can multiply through by 4, so we shall get 4m plus 16 to be equal to 18. 4m. We shall send 16 to the other side of the equation, so we shall get 18 minus 16, which equals to 2. So 4m equals to 2. We can divide 2 by 4. So 4 cancels 4, so that we shall get m to be equal to 2 over 4, which equals to half. So the answer is A. Use the mapping below to answer questions 30 and 31. S maps to Y. 1 into 3, 2 into 5, 3 into 7, 4 into 9. Question 30. What is the rule of the mapping? We shall rewrite the mapping as 1 maps into 3, 2 maps into 5, 3 maps into 7, and then 4 maps into 9. This is the same as 2 plus 1. 4 plus 1, 6 plus 1, and then 8 plus 1. Take note of the sequence 2, 4, 6, and then 8. 2 here can be written as 2 times 1. 4 here can be written as 2 times 2. And over here, 2 times 3, and 8, 2 times 4. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Now, therefore, S can be written as two times S. Take note that here is four, here is four, here is three, here is three, here is two, here is two. So two times S plus one. So the mapping is S maps into two S plus one. So the answer is D. Question 31. Find the value of y when s equals to 7. The rule for the mapping is s maps into 2s plus 1. So 7 will map into 2 times 7 plus 1, which equals to 15. So y equals to 15 when s equals to 7. So the answer is D. Question 32. A square of side 6 cm has the same area as a rectangle of length 9 cm. Find the width of the rectangle. The area of the square equals length times breadth. So 6 cm times 6 cm, which is 36 cm squared. 
the area of the rectangle is going to be equal to the length times the breadth and O9 times B. Now, the area equals 36, so 9 times B equals 36, so B equals 36 divided by 9, which equals 4 centimeters, so the answer is B. Question 33. Factorize 3R squared S minus 9R S squared. That is 3R squared S minus 9R S squared. The common factor is going to be 3R and then S. Over here we shall get R. And then over here we shall get 3S. So the answer is C. Question 34. The average mass of four boys is 45 kilograms. When a fifth boy joins them, the average mass changes to 40 kilograms. What is the mass of the fifth boy? The total width of the four boys equals 4 times 45. So 4 times 45, which equals to 180 kilograms. Now the width of the 5 boys equals 5 times 40, which equals 200 kilograms. So the width of the 5 boy is going to be the difference. So 200 minus 180 equals 20 kilograms. So the answer is D. Question 35. E is the point with coordinates 4, 2 and F the point with coordinates 2, 1. Calculate the gradient of the line EF. Let this be S1, Y1, S2, Y2. The gradient equals to y2 minus y1 divided by s2 minus s1. So y2 equals to 1 minus s1 equals to 2 divided by s2 equals to 2 minus s1 equals to 4. So minus 1 or divided by minus 2 which equals to half. So the answer is D. Question 36. If L equals 3 on minus 1 and K equals minus 4 on 2, find L plus K. L plus K equals 3 on minus 1 plus minus 4 on 2. We shall add up the S component, so 3 minus 4 and the Y component minus 1 plus 2, which equals to minus 1 and then 1. So the answer is B. Question 37. In the diagram, M, L and P, Q are parallels. Find the value of P. We shall first find the value of U. The sum of angles in straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, U plus 148 should be equal to 180. And then U equals 180 minus 148, which equals 32. So U equals 32 degrees. But u equals to v because they are alternate angles. So v equals 32, that is a. Question 38. Given the relation 1 over y equals 1 over c plus 1 over s, which of the following expressions is equal to y? That is 1 over y equals 1 over c plus 
1 over s meaning y over y equals the SCM of C and S is C times S plus C S. Now C goes into C S S times one, we shall get S. S goes into C S C times one, we shall get C. So one over Y equals C plus S all divided by CS. Now, Y equals CS over C plus S. Take note that we reversed 1 over Y to Y, and therefore we have to reverse C plus S divided by CS into CS divided by C plus S. So the answer is D. Question 39. The figure above is the net of a cone. That's D. Question 40. In the diagram below, MNO is a triangle. Angle MON equals 72 degrees and angle OMN equals 68 degrees. Find the angle OMP. We are to look for this angle over here. But before then, we shall find the angle alpha. Now we know that the sum of angles in a triangle should add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, 72 plus 68 plus alpha should be equal to 180. This is 140 plus alpha should be equal to 180. Therefore, alpha equals 180 minus 140, which equals to 40. Now, the sum of angles in the straight line should add up to 180 degrees. So, if this is 40, this will be 140. So the answer is E.